All right, all right, all right. How's it going, everybody? You guys having a good night? All right, well, my story is uh, its a little humbling. Um, choking up as I'm thinking about it. Uh, it was back when I was eight years old, and uh, my mom sent me to bed without dinner. Mm. That is a hurt piece for children. I mean, dinner is like many Christmases, if you think about it. You go outside, you run around, you play all day, you come back, you're hungry, you want food. Mom, 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 what's for dinner? Nothing, go to bed. Okay. Um, want to try that again here? How about I walk out the front door and come back in? Uh, I didn't get that one so far. Uh, well, I walk in the kitchen, and my mom's like, didn't I tell you not to go into your friend's house? And I was like, oh, I didn't go in. She was like, yeah, well, I didn't see you in the yard, so you went inside. Oh, all right, here comes this again. My mom starts yelling at me, la, 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 and then she says, all right, go to bed without food. So I walk upstairs, and it, as a little eight-year-old, you don't necessarily know how to really tell your mother off. So the best thing you can do is try to walk as slowly as you can up the stairs. I'm talking, I was dragging. I mean, I could have auditioned to be on The Walking Dead with that walk. It was, it, it was dramatic. Um, but as soon as I made it up the stairs, she started cooking dinner and I could smell it. And that was just a big smack in the face. I was like, oh, it's pasta. I can smell the sausage. And it just wasn't coming to me. So then I made it worse on myself when I like snuck to the top of the stairs so I can get a better smell. And uh, that was even worse. Um, and then I went back into my room and 10 minutes later, my mother comes upstairs and knocks on my door. I've not been more excited ever in my life. I got up, ran, opened the door, what, what, what? She's like, oh, I just wanted to tell you good night. <laughs> Ouch, okay. Then she pulled from behind her back a plate of peanut butter and jellies. <laughs> peanut butter and jelly is a survival food. You can eat it whenever. You can eat it for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, for a nighttime snack. You can eat it as whenever. And, uh, you know, I thought, man, I never thought my mother was this evil. But it is somewhere in a mother's nature she cannot let her kids go to bed hungry. My mother is probably the most powerful woman I know on the face of the earth. And I know that she would not stoop to that level to be that kind of mother. And it was a mean trick, I get it. But she still came through, provided, and made herself look like the angel mother. That she is. There is no act. She's just perfect.